Hello, my name is Maria and this is Matthew, my mascot. In this lesson we're going to study one half. Here is a circle and I colored one half of it, okay? Or one half of the ball. And this is how we write one half. One, and then a line, and a two. And the two comes from the fact that we have divided something into two equal parts, okay? So this is one half, and it can also be written like this. One, and a line, and a two. It's actually a slash. Here I have 12 berries, raspberries. And I circled half of them. So this is half of the 12 berries. And half of 12 is how many berries? I can count here. One, two, three, four, five, six. Half of 12 is six berries. And notice that each time, whether it's my circle or whether it's my 12 berries, I have divided those into two equal parts. There's this part and this part, and they are equal parts. Each part is one half. And here, there's this part and this part. They are equal parts. Each is one half of the total. Is that, Matthew? Why didn't I draw blueberries? Well, I don't know. Because I like raspberries too, okay? You know, we can't always use blueberries, Matthew. Color, one half. First, I need to divide this shape into two equal parts, and then I color one part, right? So I could go this way, I could go this way, or this way. Different ways, and then color one half. Over here, color two halves. Again, I first divide it into two equal parts, like that. But then I color both parts, both halves. So actually, I end up coloring the whole apple. Over here, again, I'm going to divide these raspberries into two equal parts. And then we're going to look at half of those. Okay, let's see. Like this. I have seven on the bottom and seven on the top. So I can write an addition, 7 plus 7 equals 14. That's one of your doubles, right? 7 plus 7, it's double 7. Now half of those berries is, of course, for example, these. Half of all the berries, half of 14 berries, is 7 berries, right? So in the same picture, I have a double and I have half of something. Let's do the same here with this picture. I have an addition to fill in, that's going to be one of my doubles, and then I have half of something to fill in. So I'll divide, first of all, this whole quantity, this whole thing, into two equal parts, two halves. And here's two tens and two tens, and then there's eight dots, eight ones, so I think it goes like that, okay? That's half of them, and here's the other half. The addition would be two tens and four. Twenty-four here, and then twenty-four on this side. Okay? And that makes four tens and eight. Forty-eight. Half of whatever there is in total. Half of the total, the forty-eight, is twenty-four. So, like you already saw here, doubling and halving sort of happen at the same time. They're actually opposites of each other. I have double 11 here. 11 plus 11. How much is that? Okay, 10 and 1, 10 and 1. So I get 2 tens and 2, 22. And then I can take half of 22 and that will be 11. Okay? Double 11 is 22. And half of 22 is 11. Doubling, halving. Now lastly, we're going to solve a few word problems. I also wrote for us a doubles chart here to help us, okay? So double 6 is 12, double 7 is 14, and so on. But it is also at the same time a chart for halving, because half of 12 is 6, and half of 14 is 7, and half of 16 is 8, and so on. So it works both ways. Matthew bought 14 coconuts and ate half of them. How many are left? Well, that's a big appetite. But coconuts are good for you. 
He ate half of them. Okay, Matthew bought 14 coconuts. Can we use our doubles chart now? It talks about half of something. Half of 14. You see here? Half of 14 is 7, right? So he ate 7. He ate half of them. And so what is left is the other 7, right? The other half. 7 are left. Emma baked a double batch of cookies. Maybe coconut cookies? One batch makes 24, 24 cookies. So one batch is 24 cookies, but Emma baked a double batch of cookies. Double as many. Then Emma gave 12 cookies away. Is that Matty? To whom did she give the cookies? I don't know. You wish it was you, right? How many are left? Okay, there's lots of things happening in this word problem, so let's just think about it again. Emma baked a double batch of cookies. Now one batch is 24. Let's stop there. One batch is 24. Emma baked a double batch. Double 24. Let's solve that first because we might need it later. Double batch. Double 24. How much is that? Okay, that would be 24 plus 24. You know what? I think I just solved it over here, didn't I? 2 tenths 4, 2 tenths 4, it makes 48. So Emma made 48 cookies. Emma gave 12 cookies away. How many are left? Well, that's a simple subtraction problem, right? She has 48 and she gives 12 away. How many are left? I can solve this kind of subtraction by writing the numbers under each other. Let me show you. 48 cookies. She has 48. She gives 12 away. How many are left? We can subtract to find out. Can you? Pause the video and try. 8 minus 2, 6. And 4 minus 1, 3. So she has 36 cookies left. Alright, I hope this was helpful. Well done with this lesson.